All right, we've got all our LED lights and everything on and wired up. Um, this thing had two big dents in the back of this tailgate. Somebody had a spare tire carrier on the back backed into something. They caved this all in and caved this in. I've got this pulled out. Um, stud gun broke, so I went and bought a new stud gun. And I'm going to go and tack me a bunch of studs in this valley right here. And we got to pull this out. This should be flush with this. It's actually caved in and, and bent this in. So I'm just going to steadily go along and pull this out. I got part of it, but then my stud gun thing broke. So um, I'll give you a little video on my new lights to show you what they look like when it gets dark out. All right, I went ahead and put five of them in real quick. You can see actually how bad that's caved in compared to this. And then I'm just going to go along and slowly tug. And I'll show you some progress. I got one door off. Got all the little low spots. I might drop it on the corner there. We fix that. Low spot, slamming it all the time. The rest of it will come out with high build. There's one door, Foxy Prime. Somebody dropped it down here and caved this corner in. Slamming the door, they've got it to where it uh, had a big indentation right there. A bunch of big stone chips and stuff. I went ahead and did all the body work, epoxy primed it, now I'm going to high build it. And we're going to slowly do the progress on, I guess, the makeover on that thing. You'll see what color it is later. That's the color we were thinking about painting the Jeep. I mixed up about four ounces and just shot and cleared this fender to see how it would uh, turn out. But I don't know, it's a little harsh. It's purple. It's called boysenberry. Got a whole gallon of that. Crap's expensive. But I've chosen a different color on the whole other spectrum, so. Um, we're doing this one door because I got some, I'm trying some new products somebody turned me on to, so I'm going to try them out on this one door and see how they look. And then, um, you know, we're going to you know, work on the whole rest of the Jeep after that. The tailgate was caved in. Somebody had backed into something with a spare tire carrier on it. And literally caved that in and then caved this hole that crown was caved clear into here so I worked on it and pulled it and pulled it and pulled it it's 90 percent it's hard to get that lip back out I'm gonna lead them holes up and I've actually bought a diamond plate cover that covered this whole tailgate so we'll paint the tailgate and I got my tail lights in um, did away with them old factory Jeep tail lights I don't even know if you could see them. I'll turn them on here and see what happens. Okay, those are the backup lights. Alright. Yeah, look, I don't want you to hear that radio. There's the parking lights. Okay, and then I had two pair of rigid industry lights that I had bought in 2010, 2011. Um, and all the lenses were, had little stress cracks in them, just from, you know, the heat and stuff. I sent them off to get new lenses put in them. Hell, they just sent me brand new lights. Brand new. So I got two brand new lights. That's, um... What, 369? That's 12,000 lumens between them lights. You can drive down the back roads with these things on and then turn them off, and them headlights are like driving down the road with a flashlight. LED headlights are next. But I got all of the... Oh, I got LED lights there, too. Those are just added turn signals. Um, 
I got all the suspension fixed. Um, it had a lot of problems. Bushings, uh, hind joint was bad, fixed all that. New intake manifold gasket, uh, thermostat, new valve cover gasket. Just um, a lot of maintenance. You know, they just drove this poor thing into the ground and I mean, just beat it into the ground. And now it's actually road reliable. I drive it almost daily if it's not raining. The top is bad. The doors have these windows. You can see that seat's in fine shape too. Um, these windows unzip, but they're really tough to get out. The doors have windows, but they won't unzip. They've glued the windows to the actual top. So you either take them off or you put them on. It's either way. I had some Nerf bars made. Um, but other than that, that's the only big purchase I got to make for this thing is a top. That's 400 bucks. But we'll get back to work on this uh, fender in here, this door. All right, went from white to gray. By the way, white wasn't the uh, color I was painting. That's just the epoxy uh, sealer, I guess you'd say. And that's um, three real heavy coats of high build. And then we will let this sit at two or three hours. I'll probably block sand tomorrow. See what it looks like. See if we have to put any more on it. 